viewers, you are welcome to the Lord TV, your number one fantastic reality TV that gives you all that it takes to be enlightened on trending news, such as politics, entertainment, sports, and what have you. If you are new on this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button as well as already subscribed. So please don't forget to drop your comments anytime I drop new videos. Thank you. Ciao, ciao. Viewers, we have another interesting and sensitizing trending news for you today. And the headline is why it isn't possible for Igbos to become the next Nigerian president in 2023. But before I proceed, I would like to appreciate you for the time spent and patience in subscribing to my channel. Please don't be tired or weary as I continue to sensitize you with interesting information and news. Don't forget to click on the like button and share these videos so that your friends will equally benefit from these informations. Don't forget to click on the red subscribe buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated anytime I upload new videos. The news in details. Former Senate President Adolphus Mwabara has claimed that there are no chances of an Igbo presidency emerging in 2023. He noted that the Indigos had been systematically restricted to certain political limits in Nigeria and have therefore been limited, aborting every desire of the tribe to aspire and reach for the presidency in the next four years. According to Wabara, the Southeast isn't prepared for presidency come 2023, compared to how other regions are preparing. He added that this lack of preparedness has restricted the Southeast from being able to negotiate a presidential position. He said, there is no chance for Igbo presidency in 2023 unless a miracle happens. But there will be Igbo presidential candidates from some unpopular parties to satisfy all righteousness. Furthermore, there shall be no basics for Indigo to negotiate with other regions when those regions are equally interested and even more financially ready. We are on our own. Nobody wants us near Aso Villa. As a matter of fact, we have been given our permanent place and limits in our country called Nigeria. However, Indigo believes that a wise, patient dog eats the fattest bone because these two shall pass the four presidents of the Senate stated. Thank you for listening to this news. Viewers, based on what Wabara has just said, I will say that though he has a point, but then if only the Igbos can come and speak in one voice, if only the Imbu Igbos can come in one mind and speak in one voice, follow one footstep, believe you me the actualization and achievement of Igbo becoming a president in 2023 will be achieved. But then, that is by the way. Whosoever that is going for presidency come 2023, I would say that that person has the door opened for him to go for whatever is he, he actually want to go in for but 
the Igbos, I would say 90% of the Igbos are not after presidency. What the Igbos are after is Biafra. So if they are mentioning Igbo presidency come 2023, I think it's actually for those people in government, all those political Igbo politicians in government who have been aspiring to be president and vice president, who has been putting in selfishness and wickedness, showing wickedness to their own people, all in the name of becoming a president. They would, these ones have actually sold their birthrights to the Nigerian government, choosing to betray their own brothers just to achieve that position. These, those are the ones that we aspire to contest. Just as Mwabara have said, they will end up becoming an aspirant of one unpopular political party. And that alone will make them to, to fail. As for Biafrans, I know, I know them to be dream, dream um, uh, goal setters and goal achievers. They have set a goal and the goal is to actualize the sovereign state of Biafra. So they, they won't want to be distracted with the Igbo presidency of a team. So I think this uh, Igbo presidency should be taken to those who actually need it and not to the Biafrans. Mazin and the Kwan Kanu have said it. He, um, he quoted that Igbos are after Biafrans. He said it that whosoever that is interested to be president can go. But mind you, the person is wasting his time. Yes, that's what he said. He said the person, whosoever that is going, well, who, any Igbo man going for presidency come 2023 is actually wasting his time because becoming a president cannot stop Biafra from achieving its republic. So the doors, the doors are open for whosoever that wants to contest. Any Igbo man that wants to go, any Igbo man, Igbo, man, Igbo man that wants to contest to be president, the doors are widely open for them to go for their contest. As for Biafrans, they are set to go on their own. They are set to go back home and become a republic of their own. They are tired of these intimidations. They are tired of these many threats. Biafrans are, are set to go back to their own home and be free from these intimidations. Mazin Namdekano quoted saying that Biafrans are already are already in their own republic. So if you are a Biafra, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Whatever that must have been said in this news, I am not a Biafra, but I am just speaking on a neutral ground because I see no reason why the federal government are finding it difficult to grant Biafra Republic. But then I will say it that if the, uh, the, it, if the, the Nigerian government refuses to do that, the international 
country will assist them and it will be a very big blow on their cheek because aside from nigeria almost all the whole world are aware of the republic and its aim of actualization so i don't know what your own comments concerning this news may be whatsoever it is or whatever it is don't forget to leave them behind click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated anytime we upload new videos thank you